Hello YouTube and welcome back to Minecraft Extreme Builds for the start of build number one. As you can see, nothing, absolutely nothing in this area. But from the title, as I'm sure you guys have read, what we are going to be building in the first build is going to be a Victorian, a Victorian London housing area. So perhaps a Oh, I was initially thinking a street, but what I'm thinking of now is more like a square. So perhaps with a little garden, a communal garden in the middle, and we're going to have cobblestone roads all the way around, and then we're going to have some Victorian housing, some simple Victorian housing. That is going to be build number one. Uh, it is going to take some episodes to make certainly but i will be starting in this episode and in this episode what i'm going to do is talk a little bit about the size the dimensions dig out an area that is where we're going to be working in and just get a bit of an idea as to what perhaps what materials we can use what colors we need so make sure you stay tuned for that this is going to be really, really good, this entire build. So if you want to follow it from start to end, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and uh, let's get started. Right, so as you can see right here, this is zero, zero, right here. So what I want to do is I do want to mark this, I do want to mark zero, 0 off. It doesn't really matter what I mark it off with right now. I just want to make sure that zero, 0 is currently marked off. Now, the idea in this is that I want to start by planning out the communal garden. So with the communal garden, I've been looking and trying to work out, do some, do some measurements and things like that. And I'm, th I'm thinking that we're probably looking for a, about, uh, I'm going to say perhaps 60 meters uh, in all in all directions. So, if we were to say that this is going to be the edge of the communal garden, I want to go 60 blocks in that direction, and then stick a block, and then we're going to have to go 60 blocks in that direction and also stick a block. However, if I do the whole 60 block thing, that means the middle, we're not going to have a defined middle. So what I'm going to do is 61 blocks so that we can have block 30, uh, block 30, block 31 as the middle. So that is the idea. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull this off. So we need to move in this direction. But is that perfectly straight? I think so. Oh, that isn't. Yeah, let's let's make sure first of all we are perfectly perfectly straight on this. There we go. And we are at fifty-nine, sixty. Is that the one we're on? That's sixty. That's sixty-one. That's the one. Okay. We'll do the exact same thing here. I guess we could just run. This isn't going to take that long. It's 60 meters. Uh, 62. There's 61. And the same thing here. Now this time we need to just go for zero. That one should be a fairly easy one. Now night is falling, but we are going to, there we go. We'll sort out the night and day very easily. There we go. Perfect. So now all we need to do is find the middle of these. So that's going to be 31 blocks, 22, oh. there it is. And I am just going to break this all the way across and also set the time, time set uh, zero. There we go. Is that block 
Xbox 61. There we go. Perfect. So that's uh, that's now done. So this is just to give me an idea as to where things are. So obviously this is not going to stay as this, but for now this will this will do the trick. And the reason I'm using lapis is because lapis is one of those uh, one of those items that I'm not going to be using at all in this build, or if I do use, it's going to be a very very small amount. So therefore, I can have a lapis, and it isn't going to interfere with anything I am I am actually doing. That's the one. It'd help if I could break these properly. And that's perfect. Okay, right, let's go ahead and place the lapis all the way along. So now that is going to be the full size of our garden, oops, or communal area. So let's have a look. Okay, that's fairly all right. That's a fairly all right area. Um, what I would like to also do is probably, I probably want to block it off yeah, I probably want to block this area off. <sighs> ah, hang on. That's wrong. There we go. Moment of panic. Yeah, if I were to perhaps put all these blocks in all the way around that's where I know exactly where the square is or where the edge of this square is of course we will go ahead and do things like rounded rectangles and what's not uh, in this but for now this is the plan so what's going to happen how what am I going to put in here well though it's a square to start with what I'm planning to do is to make a rounded path in this and then from from that rounded path perhaps have a, a grass area and then maybe a, a smaller inner rounded path or something like that and then maybe have some benches and something around the sides and uh, work from there that's that's the plan and if you haven't seen the things that can be built in this please do go watch the uh, introduction episode of of this series because that gives you an idea as to what i might be getting up to in in said series of mr block really no you might be noticing that we have shadows and everything as well that's all to do with the shaders uh, the Sonic Ethers Renewed Shaders, which are awesome. They really, really are. I, I really want to try his ray tracing ones out as well. But uh, not, not just yet. Oh, ah, yes. Clever. I was wondering why that was a little bit short. Uh, that is why. Okay, so there is our block area. Fantastic. Now, around this area, we are going to have some sort of road. So we, we, need, we need to figure out a way to do a road around here. And we require paving. So we definitely want a pavement. We also would require... Hmm... I'm thinking it's it's going to be a cobblestone road, that's for sure. 
So what I would really like to do is have maybe a couple of meters. No, we, it's got to be a little bit more than a couple of meters right all the way around. So maybe four meters of of road. Surely four meters is is going to be good enough. Uh, let me get let me get a measurement on this. Let me actually try and get a measurement of some sort. I've got a measurement of eight meters on this one. Uh, okay, let's give it let's give it eight meters. Sure. So we'll give it eight meters, and then maybe we can make certain areas smaller. So for the road, I am going to start. I'm going to use another block. I am probably not going to be using, which is going to be the this block. So we'll go ahead and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is the edge of the road. Okay, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's the edge of the road. Right. So we'll go ahead and stick more lapis here. There we go. And what I what I really need to do is is empty or uh, destroy this entire this entire area. Uh, is there not? Hold on. Do I have those shovels in here? Search item shovel. Do have some shovels. I cannot remember which shovel it is, but there is a type of shovel, not obsidian. Uh, which one is it? I'm not sure if it's in. That's the one. Is it that shovel? No. I think it is, but. Maybe it doesn't work in creative. Thought it did work in creative. No, I'm not too sure. I thought this one, I thought that particular shovel would uh, do, I think it used to break a lot more than one in one go. Anyway, so this is, the road area. Does this look a little bit wide? That's that's the question here. So I'm only going to do a small section of this road. Does it look too wide? I think... If you had horse and cart... No, you know what? That is probably okay for a, for a road. And what I'm going to do is, as I said, I'm not going to do the entire section. Just going to do up to here. And I'll do the rest of it off camera. So we can just have an idea as to what we are trying to do and what needs to be accomplished. Click away as fast as I can. I think that was too far. It's here, isn't it? There we go. Okay. So now we can just go ahead and destroy this entire area. Now, this, this entire, as I said, the whole thing is going to have to be destroyed. But um, I'm just going to do a smaller area. A one, what is it going to be? One quarter of the area that I'm going to destroy. Just so that we have some rough idea as to what we are looking at. So that's that area destroyed 
In fact, I might even, before I place all these lapis blocks down, what I might do is I might just put stone there, cobblestone, to give me an idea as to the, the length of that. Wow, that sunset is, is bright. And as soon as I'm done with destroying all of this, I'll go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and pop the lights back. Take us back in time once again. Or forward in time, however you you wish to see it. Or I could just uh, put a bed down, I suppose, and sleep in it. That work in creative? Bed. Yeah, blue bed. Do not drop the lapis. Oh, okay, that works. And I've made the advancement sweet dream. What's an advancement? I'm not sure what an advancement is. I'm very... I haven't used Minecraft for a long time. Uh, cobblestone. Here we go. Let's place this down. Advancement. Oh, they're just achievements. That's what they are. Okay, so, now I'm going to do something interesting here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, at, this is, I like this, at little, is it little blocks, little tiles? I'm going to use the little chisel. The little no, I want want no, I want want. Why can I not grab? I used to be able to grab from this. What's happened? Okay, the little chisel. There we go. I'm going to select on the little chisel. I'm going to go for cobblestone. Watch this. I think this is always fantastic. So how much cobblestone did we want? Okay, well, it would have been fantastic if had I picked the top of it. There you go. It just makes it so much easier to build. There we go. That's all cobblestone. Right, so... Uh, you know what? I'm not sure if cobblestone is the one I want then. Let's think. Uh, pave... Portuguese pavement. No. No. Maybe chiseled... Let's have a look at some chisel stone. Ah, now you see, that might be wide bricks. That might be the kind I'm after. Let's try. I mean, that's that's the point of this this build. And that's the point of the initial episode anyway. Let's try and figure out what does and does not work. And you get to see the mod in action. One of the mods. I'll be making heavy use of this mod. Um, Better... This is better. Does this register as a single block? It does. Let's go ahead and destroy all of these blocks again. I'm happy to try out. I'm happy to use the other one. Oh no, wait. There is a replace command, but I'm not sure what it is. But there is a replace command where I can replace one type of block with another. Unfortunately, as I said, I, I do not know what it is. I'm fairly new to the Little Tiles mod. I, I have no idea about it. I only knew, I only knew chisels and bits. But uh, here we go. This is not going to take too long at all. So what I'm after, I'm thinking, is I'm going to look for an 8-wide... Can we 
go for an eight wide road or should we go for a seven wide road? That's where we've got a middle. Because I like having a middle or a midpoint on these things. That being said, do midpoints even matter anymore with this mod? We're, because we could we can go down in such depth. We can have a midpoint of just about an inch. If we really wanted to. Right. See. There we go. Okay, so that's our pavement. I mean, that's our road. That's the road width. I'm not... I'll be honest, I'm not 100% certain we need 8 meters of road width. I mean... I honestly think that one, two, three, four. I think that five meters will be enough. One, two, three, four, five, and then have two meters of pavement. Yeah, I think that's that's better. Here we go. I know this is this is a uh, lots of breaking of things, but that's how that's how builds go, and especially an extreme build, particularly when you're planning it out, which is exactly what I am doing right now. So, for those people who aren't following, what I'm what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to work out what a Victorian road would look like, and I think I've got the road a little bit too wide. So I'm going to narrow the road up and then I'm going to have two meters of pavement, which seems, I think two meters of pavement is wholly reasonable. And I'm going to use cobblestone for that. And then I'm not sure what I'll do for the last bit. So there we go. So now we can have this. Ah, no. This. There we go. I've missed the block again. And if you have any ideas, please do leave them in the comments box below. You know, if, if you've got any suggestions what I should do with these houses, um, materials that perhaps I should use, and, and the like, please, please do leave the suggestions in the comments box. Um, I'd really appreciate that. I think that's that. Yep, yeah, that's better. That is a lot better. Not a a massively wide road. Two meters, five meters, five meters in length. That's. I think that is reasonable. I mean, you could imagine maybe a horse and cart, which would probably be two meters wide at most rolling along and then you've got a meter gap and you've got that and then you've got a pavement that that's absolutely fine uh, and then in that case I'm going to do this and we'll work out what to do from here so now we're going to try and pop in a potential foundation area and size for a house so that is the, the next big task. Now I said that this is... Right, so this is the middle. Now let's say down from the middle we've got a nice little alleyway. Let's do that. And then I'm going to say that we have... I'm going to place for, for a house... I'm just going to place some bricks. That's all I'm going to do. Ooh, hold on. Dark bricks, sure. Not lava bricks. Dark bricks, I think, will work nicely. So I'm just going to say, look, here we've got 
a positioning for a house. Now, I think the house can be six meters wide. There we go. So we'll have six meters and then and we could do um, we could do terraced housing. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. That's another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. A block of three houses. Which would be quite Victorian as well. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one house. Ah, but this house should match with this one. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this one matches here. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then perhaps we can give it a, a gap of one. Let's try one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. And one more at this. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. And now you see that that leaves this which is a little bit annoying. That leaves quite a gap, unless we did one, two, three, four. Ah, right, now that's only four. Or, or alternatively, we do give it the full width. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two. I right, see, so just double block these, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I should probably count on these. It's probably easier. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that could work because then you just have one block there. So that can be a group of houses. So we could have that and then we could have another lot at the back. Okay. Then going backwards, we're probably looking at uh, this is where this is where the measurements have to come in. So I've got to find out what the what the various different uh, measurements are. Let's find out. So on a house that I'm thinking of, I think they're fairly small, fairly small houses. Um, I might make them just a little bit bigger for for the sake of sort of just for the sake of it. Now, ah, I forgot the front gardens, though. These things generally have front gardens. Right, yes. Um, what is normally you have about three or four meters before. Ah, right. Okay. That's uh, silly of me. Let's get these gardens in as well. So let's say that's the front. We're going one, two, th three. That's the four. So really, the house starts here. Yeah, this is where we want the house to start. Because those are going to be front gardens. There we go. So this area is all front gardens. Okay. 
Then looking at the sort of length of the house in total, generally the houses are probably about 8 metres long. I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a little bit more than that. I'm going to say the houses are 12 metres long. So we're going to go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is the kind of length I'm going for on these houses. So that, that just gives me an idea as to how far things are going to be built. And then of course these houses have gardens. And the gardens tend to be fairly big. Victorian houses do, I think, tend to have fairly large gardens. So I'm probably going to say if it's a 12 meter house, I think maybe give it a, I suppose, a 12 meter garden, really. So for garden markings, I'm going to, uh, let me think. Let me use some birch wood planks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That is as far as the gardens probably go. Which is not, I mean, they're not massive gardens, but they are decent sized gardens overall. Where am I going? There we go. Got a little carried away there. Perfect. Okay, now we're getting, we're definitely getting somewhere here. And then we've got, I know it, it doesn't look, doesn't look great yet, but it will, it will look great. This is just the very, very beginning, the absolute basic planning of this. Now what, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to use this as the plan and actually build the first lot, for example, here. So I'll use this plan to build those. And that, that's the idea. And a lot of the, in, a lot of the building will start in the next episode. But of course, this one is massively important because we cannot have any building starting without it, without any of the plans in place. There we go. Okay. So we have the garden dividers. Not not exactly fences, but that that is what this is meant to represent. So think of this as the the rough plan. It's nice we've managed to get through the night, and it's it's actually been rather rather bright. There we go. Okay. Now now we need to look at. How do these houses, I mean, they're very, they're fairly small. The houses themselves are fairly small, but I'm just thinking about how they, how they tend to look. Because these houses are interesting in the sense that they have, the houses themselves have like a, different levels to them. And then one level is normally painted different to the rest or made out of a different material. That level normally goes into a basement. But what I am thinking, because this is flat, perhaps we can make the basement or an entrance to the basement sort of in this, in this front garden. Oops. Oops. So let's say here. So let's say you walk in sort of here. You walk in here. And you take steps down and it goes to a basement over the, over the four meters. And then you sort of have your front door here or something. 
Alternatively, we could have... Now, I, I do like the idea of having a, a basement kind of level. So in that case, let's let's just figure out our... Our plans here. I'm going to stick a door on next to each one of these. Just an absolute simple, simple door. There you go. Tells me the plan. Gives me an idea as to whether these houses are too small as well. I'm, I don't think they are too small. I really do not think they are too small. And then we're looking at, we'll say, we'll do that. That's one floor. Right, that's going to be one floor, so that's a level of one floor. And we want these to be... I'm looking at naturally two-story buildings for the most part. If we have a couple of three-story, that's fine. But we can just build the build the stories on, you see. That's the idea. I'm going to just stick that as a as a window. This isn't actually no. I'm going to stick that as a window. So it isn't exactly where a window may go, but I'm going to or even a double do that there so you can imagine having a oh wait a minute well, how's this ah right yes that's it double there so you can imagine having a door a little corridor uh, and then having a a window having a room with a window there Actually, that is looking like a fair amount of floor space, if you if you think about it. That is actually more floor space than I than I thought there would be. Yeah, thinking about that, that could that could actually be a lot more floor space than I initially thought. Because if that's a two meter window, you're talking about two meter width on a room. Potentially, you're looking at, let's say in the corridor, let's say you walked in. Realistically, these walls are not this thick. And that is something I'm going to be working on. So, you're looking at a width of about 2 metres in the corridor. And then you're looking at a width of about 3 metres in the room, which is not... That is not bad. That is really not bad. There you go. Okay. So now we have an idea sort of as to how or where the housing is going to go there. Now we could probably... I'm just having a look now at the Victorian housing. Generally, they do only have one window. And then upstairs they have a similar, similar sort of setup. Just very small. I could always make a larger house which should have more than more than the one window but as I said this is just very simple you know these are houses people live in maybe you know maybe two two people live in these houses maybe three it's, it isn't for it isn't for large families uh, at all so you know you're looking at maybe a little a small kitchen a living room downstairs and maybe two bedrooms upstairs maybe three given the given the length of the house but this this does seem fairly reasonable and nobody really has so many uh house uh, so many houses so many windows at the front so let's go ahead and build down the side now generally if i remember victorian the images i've seen of victorian buildings Buildings like the one I'm thinking of do not tend to have any windows down the side. They do have windows at the back, but they just do not tend to have any down the side. Because even if they've got a gap, they just do not have the windows. As far as I know. 
So what I'm going to do is have no windows down either side. I'm, I mean, I might add them later. As, as I said, this is just the planning stage. I might, might add them in, but there we go. Okay. So now we can do the back of the house. Or the back of the house is. That's looking all right. Whoops. I'll break I'll break holes for windows in a moment. In fact, no, let's let's just go ahead and break a hole for a door and a window. Let's put the door let's put the door here because you could think you could think of this as perhaps you come into the house and then you've got a corridor and then you've got a little uh, a room here and then you've got perhaps a kitchen here and then you've got a back door which means that you could have a window right there. So that is probably going to be the plan. There you go, that's the plan. So each house can have can have that. That looks reasonable, I think. And we'll do the same along here. So that one notes that one and that and that. Same thing along these two. Okay, so that's the front and the back of the house roughly, roughly, very roughly done in, in this. Let's go ahead and do that so that we have an idea as to how this is going to be. Okay, so we have a, an area, uh, you know, a park area, which is going to be large, incredibly large. We can then have a road, a pavement, entrances, and, and a house. And because they are small houses, we can have a basement. So you can have some rooms in the basement, some rooms up here, you know, a couple of rooms here, a couple of rooms downstairs, and then a couple of rooms upstairs. So you have a three-story house that actually looks only like a two-story house. So to finish this episode off, we're going to add in the next floor so i'm again looking at one two three blocks roughly for for the floor i think oops i'm hoping that that looks reasonable on size let's let's check I think that does look fairly reasonable when it comes to the size of it. Um, yeah, that's that's all right. That is that's fairly all right. I'm I'm happy with that. And we're going to do. Well, we'll sort out the windows in a moment as well. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video and you're enjoying or you're excited to see what comes out of it. Um, I can guarantee you it is going to be really, really interesting. And it will look better than this. I can also guarantee you that. This is just, as I said, incredibly, incredibly rough planning. And it's, it's just to get the size and shapes vaguely in the right position and measure things up so there there's our a blocked up area and then what what I really want to do is perhaps have a window there doesn't need to be that big the window probably is going to be like that and then that I think there's also a possibility that we could do that's because that's probably more Victorian to have more squarish or narrower windows and then have them generally have them longer like that. Not that, not quite that long, but 
I'll tell you what, what if... I'll think about that. I'm going to think about that one. But do let me... Do let me know what you guys think. Uh, no. That was wrong. Yeah, I think... I think the window shapes are going to have to change to match a more Victorian architecture. But that is how our house is going to look. Top floor, again, no windows. No windows here at all. You have windows front and back, not on the side. Windowless rooms. And again, on the back, we're probably going to have a similar idea. Because what you could probably imagine this as is, you go up here, this is potentially some sort of landing, and then that's where the... That's where that window is. Or, well, actually, it could be a room. Because you, you do not want to waste a window. So you could have a small... You know, two meter wide room, which is perfectly all right. There's nothing, nothing wrong at all about a two meter wide room. But I'll tell you what, what I am going to do is end this episode here. Um, I'll just take a, I'll just finish this back wall off. That gives us an idea as to what I am building. Hopefully, you guys are going to be tuning in to see more more of these episodes and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far i most certainly have it is nice to get back into oops minecraft building again and have have something specific that i want to do in it so thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on Whoa! Uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos on Minecraft Extreme Builds. As I said, we are just getting started. This is this is not even not even the tip of the iceberg, as it were. Go away, doors. We oh no, we might need the doors. Uh, go away. Go away, lapis or. But yes, this is just the absolute tip of the iceberg. We are only just getting started on this. It is going to it is going to look really, really nice once it is completed. Um, what I'm go going to do is I'm going to use... I cannot believe I'm using polished diorite. But I am going to use polished diorite. No, that's dirt. Because Victorian homes, you see, have something interesting. Their homes at the top... Are like that but if you have a look at the top of the house they actually have sloped roofs but the sloped roofs on the house um, do not show from the front or the back of the house so the roof will be for example interestingly enough also sloped in uh, this way so it will go in that way and then up to the middle so up to there and then it will it will come out again and it will go in again it is it is actually quite a quite a unique style though those roofs those roofs definitely are i know somebody's probably going to comment uh saying you pronounce roofs wrong uh you said roofs well actually roofs is also correct so, there you go. This bit of information. Roofs is also a correct way of pronouncing roofs. There we go. So we have something. It doesn't. It doesn't look fantastic at all yet, but it is something. And I am going to take a screenshot of said something. If the if it were. Right, the sun is really, really bright. Uh, time set zero. Move the sun. No, that's wrong. Time set 
600. No, that's wrong. Time set, 3,200. That's what we'll do. Okay. That's the screenshot taken. Fantastic. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Minecraft Extreme Builds. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so. www.patreon.com slash ecgadgets. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. Uh, what we are going to be doing is in the next episode, we're going to see if we can work out perhaps the plan, the rough plan for the basement, uh, the rough plan for the roofs and the back windows. And then from that, we are actually going to start trying to figure out what colours we need and start building them in this area. So I will be, I will have broken down this entire area and we'll be starting to build right here thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time in minecraft extreme builds